Hello everyone. Our today's topic for the A level chemistry is periodicity. Normally this term periodicity is mainly discussed with respect to the periodic table. Periodic table uh, is the main focus where the term periodicity is used. And somewhere else, periodic functions, periodic motion, periodic forces are also there. And according to the meaning of the periodic mean, those processes which are repeated after a regular interval of time, those are called as periodic functions. Now, as the periodicity is mainly associated with the periodic table, periodic table actually is the arrangement of the elements in groups from top to bottom and in rows or in periods from left to right. Now, as with the development of with the invention or identification of proton number as on the basis of the proton number scientists has arranged all the atoms according to their increasing proton number then they observe that after some fixed number of elements the physical or chemical properties of the elements repeat. This is the, a general version of the periodic table, modern periodic table. Now with respect to this periodic table in the previous classes we have already learned that elements range from left to right, these are called periods and elements arranged from top to bottom, these are called groups. There are groups and periods present in the periodic table. Now, uh, periodicity of uh, physical properties actually is the discussion of these physical properties in the periodic table. How these physical properties a show periodic uh, periodic uh, relation. For example, this is our lithium in the second period. <coughs> this is metal, lithium and three metals. And if we consider this lithium as an alkali metal, then if we consider this metal as a one, then one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. It means that after 8 element, each ninth element is showing the similar properties just like lithium, that is a sodium. In number of ways, it is observed that as lithium is forming unipositive cation, sodium is also forming unipositive cation. It means that the same property of the element is repeated after ninth element. In the similar manner, if we discuss all these properties again and again, we will observe that after a fixed number of elements, the same physical property is repeated again. Now, we have to discuss periodic patterns of the physical properties in the periodic table. The first is periodic pattern of the atomic radii. Atomic radii. As the elements in the periodic table are arranged in periods and in groups. The first period contains only two elements, hydrogen and helium. And in both of these atoms there is only one shell around the nucleus of both these atoms which contain electrons it means that in first period there is no shielding effect and the force of attraction of the proton present
present in the nucleus is directly applicable on the electron without any interaction that's why the force of attraction of the nucleus is much more stronger on the electron in the first shell that's why due to the very strong force of attraction and not easy uh, removal of electron from the last shell both of these atoms hydrogen and helium are non-metal both of these are non-metals in the second period if we consider second period it means that period number show the number of shells it means that two shells will be there in the second period elements from lithium to neon only two shells will be there first shell will contain two electrons and the second shell will contain uh, various number of electrons depending upon the proton number it means that in, for the second period there is also a shielding effect of only two electron that is approximately negligible very low while in case of third period there are three shells present around the nucleus in all these atoms it means that now the shielding effect is matured by two shells first shell contain two electrons and second shell will contain eight electrons now 10 electrons will shield the nucleus and then the nucleus force of attraction on the outermost shell electron is observed after the third in fourth fifth sixth and seventh period then the shielding effect continuously increases and the pattern is set after the third period that's why in chemistry for the physical uh, for the physical properties for the periodic pattern of the physical properties we consider mainly the third period this is the basis because in first two period the shielding effect is ne negligible and there are so many variations depending upon uh, due to this uh, factors now this third period is taken as standard for the explanation all of these uh, properties now the first property is periodic pattern of the atomic radii we have already learned that proton number of the elements increase one by one for example the proton number of sodium is 11 magnesium is 12 aluminium is 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 as the proton number increases, it means that the number of proton present in the nucleus also increases, and the number of electrons in the same shell continue increasing. It means that due to the increase in proton in the nucleus, the force of attraction of the nucleus increases gradually on the electron in the same shell, and the force of attraction increases. What happens? From left to right, we have observed from left to right in the periodic table, atomic size, atomic size decreases, decreases. Why? The shell remains the same, but in the nucleus, the number of protons increases, get a gradually increase in the force of attraction on the electron. So the electron are compelled to revolve very close to the nucleus. That's why atomic radius from left to right decreases that can be represented graphically if we mention here an element for example this is sodium this is magnesium then aluminium then is silicon then is phosphorus sulfur then chlorine and then argon if we consider their atomic radii atomic radii will this sodium has an atom has highest size then magnesium will have smaller size aluminium will have smaller size and then silicon will have smaller size smaller size smaller. gradually the atomic size will decrease uh, one exception is argon uh, due to the complete shell of uh, electron in case of argon the atomic radii increases atomically now the atomic radii is not easily calculated why because because in an atom in an atom we know that electrons are revolving these are the nucleus 
electrons are revolving around the nucleus in the shells and electrons show dual nature these are acting as a particle and these are also behaving having a wave nature that's why to calculate the exact distance from the nucleus to the outermost shell is not possible is not possible now first of all we take the noble gases all these noble gases have complete last shell they cannot form bond with the other atoms their shells cannot overlap with one another so we can find out if we take these gases and convert them into the liquid state or into the solid state definitely then two atoms will approach each other whenever two atom will approach each other without any overlapping area then the total distance present between the two nuclei of the atom will be halved now one half of the distance between the two nuclei of the just approaching the two atom with one another will be called as atomic radii but in the rest of the elements which have incomplete their last shell definitely they can formulate a one covalent bond with them if a covalent bond will be formed definitely a common region will be developed by the overlapping of the partially filled atomic orbitals of the two atoms as a result the covalent radii covalent radii will be lesser than the atomic radii because in case of atomic radii there will be no much overlapping of partial filled atomic orbital so the uh, atomic radii is the one half of the distance when the two atoms closely approach to each other without any showing to overlapping now as both of these atoms will come closer due to the wonder one forces due to the only wonder wall forces wonder walls forces it means that in case of atomic radii these can be easily set as an wonder wall radii so the wonder wall radii or atomic radii in this manner we can judge and we have to take into consideration that there should be a no much overlap of the two atom with one another for the calculation their atomic radii now next is next is the periodic pattern of ionic radii ionic radii if we consider the ionic radii trend will remains the same trends will remains the same but in case of atomic radii as we have discussed now in case of ionic radii what will happen if we show the atoms on the x axis sodium then magnesium then aluminium then is silicon and after silicon there is a phosphorus and sulfur and then chlorine and uh, obviously argon form no ion never electron gain or loss in case of sodium as the size of sodium is much larger might be very high as it loses one electron size will be high when magnesium will lose two electron the force of attraction of the nucleus will increase automatically the size of the magnesium will decrease the atom size of aluminium will also decrease and in case of silicon if it form positive four ion its size will also decrease so for the first four atom the size will decrease but as we move towards the phosphorus to complete its last shell it will gain three electrons so due to the gain of three electron its ionic size will considerably increase suddenly increase as it gain three electron so size will become just like this as sulfur gain two electrons so its size will increase but lesser than the phosphorus as chlorine gain one electron to complete its last shell size it's also increase 
but lesser than the two electron gaining atom that's why the trend will come from phosphor to carbon just like this if we combine both of these now this will be the trend of the ionic radius and in case of sodium plus one because one electron is lost in case of magnesium positive two in case of aluminium positive three and in case of silicon positive four after removing four electrons but in case of phosphorus there will be minus three minus two and minus one charge so the uh, graphical trend in case of the ionic radii will be represented just like this next is the periodic uh, pattern of melting point and electrical conductivity during the first uh, uh, third elements that can be represented just like this graphically we can show now the melting point melting point is represented as as this is sodium magnesium aluminium silicon after silicon there is a phosphorus then is sulfur then is after sulfur chlorine and then is argon now as this is a ugly, ugly matter that's why due to the larger size its melting point will be lower the melting point of magnesium will increase considerably high the melting point of aluminium is approximately same just like magnesium the melting point of silicon due to exact four electron in its last shell is very much high after that the melting point of phosphorus decreases considerably suddenly the melting point of sulfur slightly increases due to greater molar mass and molecular size but after that the melting point of chlorine decreases and also of argon decreases very less now this will be the trend in melting point of these elements that can be explained this is a melting point in the period 3 elements from left to right from sodium to argon that is indicating that during the first four elements the melting point no doubt sometimes very uh, diff uh, become different uh, significantly and sometimes show a very little variation but for the first four elements melting point increases but after that due to the decrease in metallic character the melting point decreases and some variation takes place depending on their polar masses now electrical conductivity can also be represented graphically in the similar manner if we represent this is sodium this is magnesium aluminium then silicon then uh, after silicon there is a phosphorus sulfur and then chlorine and then argon now how we can show the electrical conductor electrical conductor of sodium is less the magnesium is high the aluminium is still high these are the electrical conductor the electrical conductor which increases still aluminium but then the electrical conductivity decreases to very large extent because the silicon is termed as a semi metal metalite and then the electrical conductivity decreases and decreases and decreases this becomes approximate insulator uh, all these as non metallic character increases then the electrical conductivity decreases sharply in this manner all these three periodic patterns in the physical properties are quite clear uh, in case of in any problem you can uh, you can comment like and subscribe the channel i thank you